I'm Ari. <laughs> Sauce packets and old bread butts make pork projectiles, but they can make a rich dinner. I'm gonna turn this and this into a veggie meatloaf with a saucy glaze. I'm gonna slice up some mushrooms. I'm gonna put in some avocado oil here and I'm gonna saute up these mushrooms. Yeah, scream you little guys, scream. I'm gonna put some pepper and some salt. Now some Worcestershire and some cocoa aminos. We're gonna cook these until they're caramelized. Now we're gonna peel these sweet potatoes. Now I'm gonna save these peels. Tune in next week to see how I make dog treats with them. I'm gonna put some more avocado oil in and then I'm gonna place my sweet potato medallions. I'm gonna cover these and let them brown. I'm gonna add a little water and cook them for another couple minutes until they're tender but not mushy. I toasted these nuts at 350 for 15 minutes to bring out their flavor. We're gonna add our toasted nuts, a cup of walnuts, and a cup of pecans. I'm gonna pulse up these nuts. Now I'm gonna add the wet stuff. And some thyme. Luckily I have some growing in the garden. <clears throat> now I'm gonna pulse everything again, but I don't wanna overdo it because I don't want a puree. <laughs> now I'm gonna add two cups of green lentils that I cooked up and some salt and pepper. four tablespoons of tomato paste, and one tablespoon of cocoa aminos, and one more tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now we're gonna mix it up. The modern American meatloaf has its roots in a dish called scrapple, which was made by Pennsylvania Dutch settlers. And they used the leftover bits from pork slaughters to make meatloaf. So since its inception, meatloaf has been a way to make undesirable scraps tasty. Next we need breadcrumbs. Oh, too hard, let's crumb it. Crumbly. Here's my half cup of breadcrumbs. All this mush is supposed to fit into the standard loaf pan. Now I'm gonna to let it settle at the bottom. I'm gonna lay some parchment paper over it. I'm even gonna take this mason jar and do a little rolling. A smush and roll. Smush, roll, smush, roll, smush, roll. Okay, I think it's packed in there. I'm gonna make my loaf uncovered for 45 minutes at 350. The same gnomes that are stealing my socks are putting these in my drawers. Now that the loaf's in the oven, we're gonna make the glaze and combine 12 ketchup packets with three hot sauce packets. It's hard to recycle things like this because it's contaminated with the ketchup sauce inside of it. And for recycling to work, you need it to be dry. That's our sauce packets. Now we're gonna make it a little more upscale and add one tablespoon of cocoa aminos and three tablespoons of honey. One, two, three. Mix, mix. Mm. Now that our loaf has been baking for 20 minutes, I'm gonna add the glaze and then put it back in the oven. It's done and it cooled for 10 minutes and now I'm going to unwrap it. Love at first sight. And this is my compost. And this is my trash. This would make some great dog poop, pooper, paper, paper upper. Oh. And this is my recycling. Let's try it. Okay. This looks beautiful. I always thought meatloaf was pretty gross, but this is good. Another iteration of the all-time American classic. You can't see your eyes. Hmm? We can't see your eyes at all in this, that's okay. 